This is when it really gets tense. Only four teams remain in the biggest club competition in the world, and we're not far away from kickoff in the first leg. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live from the Bernabeu here on EA TV. Hello from one of the great venues in world football, the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu in Madrid. I'm Derek Ray and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And we're getting down to the wire in the UEFA Champions League. Tonight, the first leg of the semi-final coming right up. It's Real Madrid facing Manchester City. Palmed away by the keeper. And the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Nacho Fernandez plays with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. Federico Valverde plays alongside Jude Bellingham in the centre of midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And here's the Manchester City lineup. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And lining up through the middle in attack today, Erling Haaland. Oh, Derek, big chance here. And fired against the crossbar. Well, there's an example of how to press high up. And still looking for space. And there it is! The first goal in the semi-final. A huge moment. Extraordinary scenes. Well, here we can see it again, and no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here, deal with the danger, otherwise that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. Well, the action underway. Can Real find a response now? Lucas Vasquez. and Valverde he fancies it they just couldn't stay in front and now this match is all square well this is a brilliant strike as you can see he hits it with so much power the keeper had no chance fantastic finish You can see his frustration. They've just lost their focus here. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Excellent use of advantage from the referee in City's favour. Jude Bellingham. Force. He'll have a go here. Well, I must admit, it didn't trouble the keeper to the extent that I thought it might. Alvarez. And winning it back. Well, a foul, but the advantage was Real Madrid. Aurelien Chouameni. He'll take this on. And the keeper reacting just as we would have expected. And Real's creative tendencies coming to the fore. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Real Madrid unable to hang on to the ball. From one side of the pitch to the other. It is advantage Manchester City here. Oh, fancy footwork. Very quick thinking there. Oh, nice ball. Excellent block. He can't hold on 
to it. Well, threat averted. Rodri. Significant acreage for City to run into. Great opportunity. Attempting to place the ball in the back of the net, but not going according to plan. Now following on from the previous incident, he sees yellow now. Crossed into the penalty area. But at one point on its flight, I wondered if the keeper would have difficulties, but no problems in the end. Moving forward effectively. Well, based on that challenge, you wouldn't be at all surprised if the referee reaches for his pocket. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. And options in the centre. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Now breaking at pace. Potential danger. Released it nicely. And finally up a cul-de-sac. Erling Haaland. Here's Valverde. Rodrigo. A goal! He's dispatched it! Much to the sheer delight of the fans! see what a good goal this is he hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance that's a great strike well that reaction says it all that's such an important goal in this game well two one it is here and we will have just one additional minute. De Bruyne. And the first half is in the history books here at the Bernabeu. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, after a slow start where he was tightly marked, he got better and better as the first half went on, and he got his reward with that goal. I'm looking forward to his second half display. So the second half underway, and no doubt about it, City with work ahead of them. Well, time just challenged magnificently. That's useful play. Foden, trying to find the right angle of attack. But they took care of the situation defensively. Might be a chance to break. Walker. And the advantage is with City. Well, showing really good width here. And that is how to tackle inside your own penalty area. Valverde, now with Bellingham, Mendy, pass has been made and it's in the vicinity of Tony Kroos, well when all was said and done he's failed to hit the target, and the substitution will occur now.
Grealish. Vadiol. Grealish. And that's what they needed, Manchester City. A goal to level matters here. Well, here you can see it again. He's gone for placement over power, and it's a brilliant finish. Well, that picture says it all. His team are back in the game now. And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. Now we're into the final half hour. Jude Bellingham. Tony Kroos. Really inventive stuff from Real here. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Foden. It is advantage Manchester City here. And he's got the beating of his opponent. Oh, good save. And time for the change now. Another short corner here. Foden giving it a try. It was on its way in. Can they hit on the break? And Bellingham. Oh, it might be. And a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such ready. Great goal. Well, Guardiola has to get his team playing again. This isn't going to plan, that's for sure. Underway again, and we're being treated to plenty of goals. 3-2 at the moment. Very quick thinking there. De Bruyne. Now, who can he play it to? Aurelia Chouameni. The ball with Lucas Vasquez. Showing a lot of guile there. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Jude Bellingham. Takes it. Here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They're bossing the game now. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Determined defending. Might be a chance to break. All hands on deck. Looked like an effective counter-attack, but... Oh, it's gone in! And that will be written down as an own goal. No wonder he's hanging his head.
Well, as you can see, it came off him last. And as a result, it will be an own goal. So unfortunate. Well, how about this? 4-3. Opportunity it is. A majestic piece of goalkeeping there. That's goalkeeping at its best. He's so hard to beat from that sort of range. Now, how about the short corner? This could be it. And a fine piece of goalkeeping which keeps their hopes alive. Well, you're right, that keeps them in it. But can they find an equaliser? They need some urgency in their play. Rodrigo. On to Mendy. Just the challenge that was required. Oh, good-looking run. Oh, might be. In it goes! to increase their advantage. And will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them? Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. scoreline we see all that often the final whistle and Real Madrid hold the advantage going into the return leg well that was a top quality performance they were sharp in attack they passed it with purpose and they closed the ball down really quickly this display gives them one foot firmly in the final and he put in a really thorough performance here Stuart well he gave that back line a torrid time didn't he he was far too sharp for them always looking to play on the shoulder took his goals well too Clearly the difference maker today.